Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a business card in Word. I'm going to be showing you how to create it from scratch. Then I'm going to show you how you can lay it out on the page so that you can print it out on both sides. So first of all, let's go to insert shapes, click on the drop down and select the square, click and drag out a square. Now when you insert a shape in Word, it will always come with a borderline and a fill color. So at the moment my fill color is set to this blue color. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of the borderline. So select the shape, go to shape format, click on this icon and select no outline. Then we need to change the shape of this. So it's a little bit different. I'm going to make the shape first. I'm going to create all the design and then I'm going to save it as a picture because then when I re-import it into Word, it's far easier to play around with the dimensions. So I'm going to make it bigger so it just makes it a lot easier to design it. So a business card is 8.5 centimeters by 5.5. So I'm just going to double that up for the time being. So I'm going to select this box, go to shape format, go to the height, make sure there's no tick in this box here. So in the height, I'm going to go to 11 and the width, I'm going to go to 17 and press enter. And there we have our basic shape and dimensions. Next, we're going to select our logo. So for me, I'm just going to go and select an icon. So go to insert, you'll go to pictures and you'll go to picture from file and select your logo. I'm actually going to go to the icons. I'm going to type in crown. I'm going to select this crown here and click insert. Now, sometimes when you insert an image or a picture, you'll see there's an outline, but the, the picture doesn't show up. Just make sure you don't touch it. Keep it selected. Go to graphics format or picture format. Go to wrap text and go down to in front of text and you'll see your design will appear. For my design here, I'm just going to make some alterations. I'm just going to go to graphics fill and select orange. Once it's selected, I'm going to make sure I'm still on graphics format. Go to format pane, go down to line. I'm on this bucket icon here. Go to solid line. I'm going to change the line color to the orange. And then I'm just going to increase the width a little bit. I'm going to increase the size of this logo. Just going to squash it down a little bit. Whoops. If anything goes wrong, just press Command or Control Z to go back one step. Now to make sure this logo is perfectly aligned in the middle of this box, select the logo, hold down your command or control key and select the rectangle. Doesn't matter either one of these you can select, it doesn't matter. Go to align and select align to center. And then you can see these boxes are perfectly lined up in the center here. Once you're happy, go back up to insert, go to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and draw out your text box. So in here, I'm just going to put in the name of my brand. I'm going to select the text, go to the home tab. And here I can select any font I like. For this one, I'm going to select this one here. I'm going to increase the font size using this increase font size tool. And then I'm going to go to the font color, change it to white. Now with this text box selected, I'm going to go to shape format. Once again, it has a black borderline, which you can't see, but deselect it. Sorry, select it and select no outline. Shape fill, no fill. Now for this text, these characters are a little bit close together. So I'm going to right click on them and go down to font. Here I'm going to go to the advanced setting and go to character spacing. And in spacing here, I'm going to select nine and press enter and you can see how my characters are now spaced out. I did select the whole word before I went to the font and then we're just going to move that. Then I'm going to make sure this word is centered within this box. So make sure the box is selected, go to the home tab and click center. And once again, I'm going to make sure this is selected, hold down my command or control key and select the larger rectangle. Go to shape format, align, align to center. And now I can just use my arrow keys. Whoops, I've got them both selected. So let's just go back two steps. 
deselect the whole lot, reselect the, the word, the text, and you can just use your arrow keys now to move that up and down. Now I'm going to insert another text box, draw text box, and then I'm just going to insert some text here. Again, I'm going to select this text, go to the Home tab. I'm going to choose Heli Vector. And again, I'm going to go to Shape Format, get rid of the outline and the fill color. I'm going to go back to the Home tab and change the font color to white. I'm going to center it all. I'm just going to reduce the size of the text box. Then once again, select this text box, hold down the Command and Control key, go to Shape Format, Align, Align to Center. Deselect it, check you're happy with the entire design. Now this is only the front of the card. You can put all of your details on the front of the card, leave the, the back of it white, it's completely up to you. This is your design. Now once you're happy with the design, we're going to select everything. So select the first box, hold down the Command or Control key and select everything. Make sure you're on Shape Format, go to Group and select Group. Now it's one group, you can move it round as one element. Now once it's all grouped, right click on it, go down and select Save as Picture. I'm just going to save this to my desktop, save this as Picture 2 and click Save. Now. Go to Insert, Picture, Picture from File, and then I go to Picture 2, click Insert. Then once again, because you can't move it when it's inserted, go to Wrap Text in front of Text, and now you can move it. Now the reason I've done this is because now I can go ahead and resize this card. Let me just click off that. I can resize this to any size and move it round and it won't change the internal structure. If I do the same with this one, look what happens. Okay, so that's why we save it as an image and then we can resize. So technically this is now a JPEG, but I can't change anything within this JPEG. I'd have to go back to the original. Select it, go to picture format, and so now you can go to height and place 5.5 and press enter, and you've got five, nearly 8.5, it's three millimeters off. You can adjust that between the two if you want to, or you can crop it. So there's the front of your card, and we'll go ahead at the end and show you how to lay all this out to print it. But before we do that, I'm just going to get rid of this one. I'm going to copy and paste this design for the back. So the easiest way to do that is select it, hold down your Alt or Option key, and click and drag. You can do it the normal way using the copy and paste up here, or Command or Control C, Command or Control V. So now I've got this design here, I'm going to go back up to graphics format and I'm going to ungroup everything so we can change things around. So then deselect it, I'm going, whoops, I'm going to grab the crown, move that over to one side and reduce the size of it. I'm going to move this text up here and this text up here. So here I'm just going to insert my name. Put your cursor inside, press Command or Control A to select all of the text, go to the Home tab, use this icon here to reduce the size of the text, and then here I'm going to put in all of my details, my phone number, website, and email. So once I've put all of this text in, I'm just going to reduce the size of all the boxes, like this. Now, the layout can be absolutely your choice here, but I'm just going to show you how I feel this would be best laid out. So I'm just going to move, whoops, I'm just going to move all of these details roughly where I want them. It doesn't have to be too accurate because we are going to move things around and line things up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these three elements here by holding down that Command and Control key, go to Shape Format, go to Align, Go down to Distribute Vertically. This will mean the gap between them is exactly the same. Then go to Align, Align to Left. Just deselect and check everything's okay. Then I'm just gonna move this one up a little bit. So I'm just gonna select all of these now. Go to Align, Align to Left. 
and then go to group and select group. So this is now all one group. And now I can select this larger box here, hold down the command or control key, go to align, and we're going to align to the middle, which means these, this box here will be perfectly lined up. Okay, now I'm going to go back up to the top here. I'm going to ungroup everything and I'm going to steal this box here. And then at the bottom, I'm just gonna put in some more text. There we go. And once again, I'm gonna select the larger box, go to align, align to center to make sure that's all lined up. And then with the crown, I'm going to select the larger box, then the crown as well, that command or control key, align, align to middle. And that's perfectly lined up in the middle now. Then you can just make any adjustments you like using your arrow keys. Now you know it's lined up, so I can move it to the left or right. And then finally, I'm just going to put a line in the middle. So click insert, shapes, go to the rectangle, click and drag out a line or rectangle. Then on shape format, go to shape fill and select white. Then hold down your command or control key and click the background, align, align to center. Now, if any of this you're not happy with, you can go ahead and move it around. So this one I think needs to go slightly over to the right. And then looking at this, I think I might like everything actually to line up to this side. So select it, shape format, ungroup, and then go to align, align to right, then group, and then group again. Perfect. So once you're happy with that, we'll go ahead and select everything, including the background, graphics format, group, and select group. Then once again, right click, go to save as picture. I'm just saving to my desktop. I'm gonna put this in as picture three and click save. Now, if you want to save these two as a template, as a Word document, so you can come back and make adjustments. That's absolutely fine. Just save this as a Word document. So I'm gonna make this on there for a new document or a new page, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna open a new document, then go to insert, picture, picture from file. So I'm going to select picture two, hold down my shift key and select picture three and click insert. Now it's they're both inserted, you won't be able to move them around again. So select one of them, go to wrap text in front of text, select this one, wrap text in front of text. Once you've done that, we need to now go up to the height and we need to put in 5.5 and press enter. Same with this one, 5.5 and press enter. So you want this one on the back and this one on the front. So what we need to do is just select the page. You should be able to see your cursor flashing here. Go to insert page break. Now, if you want to visualize the two pages side by side, you need to go to view and select multiple pages. So I'm gonna move this one over to this page. Then I'm going to hold down my Alt or Option key to copy and paste it across. Then I'm going to make sure they're both selected, go to picture format, select align, align to top. Then I'm going to group them. Then holding down my alt key, I'm then going to do the same. And then I'm going to group those together. Whoops. And then I'm gonna copy and paste them again. I'm gonna make sure they're lined up, select them both, and then we can do a line to center, and then we can group them again. So if you want them perfectly lined up in the mid center of the page, go to align, align to center, align to middle. So now all I'm going to do is put this one. So I'm going to bring to front, bring this card to the front so that when we move it over, we can just see about that alignment. So I'm gonna copy and paste this one in the same way. We only need to do this once. So I'm just gonna move this one over. We can see they're perfectly line up, lined up. Go to group and select group. And then once again, we're gonna line them up and then go to group and then do exactly the same. Make sure they're aligned to the center, select group, and then simply move them over to this side 
set align to center, align to middle. So there you can see you've got the front of your business card and the back of your business card. So if you want to print it yourself, you put the piece of card in the printer to print this off, then you turn it round and then you print the back off and they should cut perfectly. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.